Hi, my name is Rachel Mason, and this is my vlog for my intro to cinema class. I chose to focus my vlog on a short film called Bartholomew's Song. The basic plotline to Bartholomew's Song is a man who works in a factory, slowly and rhythmically building the same simple device every day. It's a simple foam block made to prevent doors from hitting the wall as they open. He builds these blocks by following directions from an unseen voice coming from a speaker just telling him what to do. All the people in the factory are more like robots as they don't really show any human emotion or curiosity. They are also all named Bartholomew. The main character's name is Bartholomew 476 and he changes everything when he slowly breaks out of this trance, becomes curious and learns many new things, including how to sing. He starts acting different, differently than all the others um, and disrupts the machine-like world that he lives in. Bartholomew's song is much different than many other films for a lot of different reasons. The first thing that stands out to me making it different is that there's no dialogue. All the sounds you hear are sound effects of the actions taking place, but no conversation, conversations actually occur. We do hear sounds. Um, when we do hear sounds, it is only ever the one sound to focus on. There's never more than one cause of sound at the same time. The film definitely has a strong color theme going on. Everything is white or tan, and there's often a green tint to the image. An image that stands out quite a bit in the film is when the main character, Bartho Bartholomew 467, 4, 476, kills the woman who has previously been unseen giving orders. A red pool of blood is shown, leaking from the woman's body. The color contrast, I think, represents the disruption Bartholomew is creating in this world. There's a lot of repetition in the film. Every day the workers do the same thing. This way we see when something is out of place or or different, the change is noticeable. An example of this is when the, a device is defective. It is Bartholomew 476's job to take the device to a specific room, cut it in half with a knife, and dump it into a hole in the counter. It always shows the scene with cuts of the block being kit, cut, the block being slid into the hole in the counter, and then the knife being placed on the counter. When Bartholomew decides to kill the woman, we don't see the knife, the shot of the knife being put on the counter. So we get the feeling that something's off, even if, even if we don't register what it is. Another place where repetition plays a big part is at the end of the film. Bartholomew is replaced as well as a woman giving directions, and it looks like it's all back to normal. Then we see another man start to show some, some expression in his face, and we in, anticipate that he will go through the similar journey as the previous Bartholomew. There are very few locations in this film, as it was made on a very low budget. There's an opening shot, which is of Bartholomew's cell slash bedroom. We have a shot outside where the workers walk to and from work, and we have a shot of the room where they assemble the pieces, and we have the hallway that Bartholomew walks to the two different rooms. One of them is where he cuts the block, and one of them is where the woman, the unseen voice, comes from. Um, another thing I noticed about the camera shots is that the camera never follows the char characters or moves at all. I think that it shows more of how perfectly structured the world is. If the camera went, were to follow a person or move, it would give the film a less rigid and more free-flowing feeling. Um, I definitely recommend watching Bartholomew's Song because it is so much different than any other films that I've seen at least. And it's also only 10 minutes long. So hope you enjoyed my vlog and thanks for watching.